We are OES Solutions. You can find us at oes-store.com or www.oes-solutions.com. This is how to set up a scan to folder or SMB on a Kia Sera. You will need full administrator rights to your PC. If not, please stop and contact your IT department. Number one, assure copier is connected to your network and that you can print to it with your computer. Next, obtain an IP address by printing a status page from the panel of your copier. Using the IP address, open a web browser and type the IP address. This will open the Kyocera Command Center Rx. So you will not need a username or password for admin login. Just click on address book and then machine address book. Click on add. Now you will name the location. You can name it using your name, for example, Bob. Next, you'll need your SMB host name. So to get your SMB host name, click on your file explorer, locate your local C drive on your computer usually under your desktop, this PC, and C. Right click and select new folder. For ease of use, we're just going to name this scans and click enter. Next, right-click Properties. Go to your Sharing tab. And then click Share. Use your pull-down menu and select Everyone and Add. Under your Permission level, you will see that it defaults to Read. You'll need to select Read and Write. And then at the bottom, select Share. You'll see your folder is now shared. Click the Done button. Next, right click on your Scans folder once more. Click Send To. Desktop Create Shortcut. And one last time, right click on your Scans folder, go to Properties. Notice now you have a network path. Copy this network path without the two backslashes in the front. So copy it. And then you can close this screen and go back to your browser. So now we have a host name that we can paste. Delete the scans folder and the first backslash. Then we're going to go to your path and paste once more. This time we'll remove your host name and just leave the scans folder that we created. Next, you'll need your Windows username that you normally use to log into this computer. And your password. Then click Test. Connection is OK, so we select OK. Now, lastly and most importantly, scroll to the bottom of this web page and click Submit. If you do not submit, it will not save it. 
those settings are now applied and you now have your Bob scan location. If you use this all the time, you can use your address book again and select one touch key. On key number one, select settings and address book. There's the Bob that we just created, highlight it and submit and submit once more. You can now close this web page. You can see your scans shortcut folder. Open that folder, go to your machine and scan in your document. As you see, it's now here and the page that I just scanned in is now viewable. This completes our setup.